اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فمن اظلم ممن افترا علی اللہ کذبا او کذب بی آیاتہ اولائک ینالہم نصیبہم من الكتاب حتی اذا جاتہم رسلنا یتوفونہم قالو اینما کنتم تدعون من دون اللہ قالو ضلو عنا و شہدو علی انفسہم انہم کانو کافرین قالت خلو فی امم قد خلت من قبلکم من الجن والانس فی النار کلما دخلت امت لعنت اختہا حتی از الدارکو فیہا جمیعا قالت اخراہم لئولاہم ربنا ہاولائے ادلونا فاتہم عذابا ضعفا من النار قال لکل ضعف ولیکن لا تعلمون صدق اللہ العظیم آیا نمبر 37 we had already studied it gives us the picture what the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to these unbelievers who associate others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they come to take possession of their souls at the time of their death. Where are those gods and goddesses whom you want to pray, who you used to pray besides Allah? قَالُوا ضَلُّوا عَنَّا وَشَهِدُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِ وَنَّهُ كَانُوا كَافِرِينَ They will say they have just vanished from us, gone with the wind. And they will testify against their own selves that they were actually unbelievers, rejecters of the faith. قَالَتْ خُلُوا فِي أُمَمٍ Then they will say, those angels, now go and enter with those generations قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ which passed before you, من الجن والانس, من الجن, from jins and ins, and humans, فِي النَّارِ and you also enter with them in the fire. كُلَّمَا دَخَلَتْ أُمَّةُ الْعَنَتْ اُخْتَهَا whenever a generation will enter the hell, fire of hell, it will curse the previous one, the like of it. حَتَّى إِذَا دَارَكُوا فِيهَا جَمِيعًا when they will all be gathered in that fire of hell. قَالَتْ أُخْرَاهُمْ لِأُولَاهُمْ The following one should say to the preceding one, رَبَّنَا هَا أُولَاءَ ذُلُّونَ Over Lord, these are the people who led us astray. One generation after the other. The formal generation leads their offsprings, their sons and daughters in a direction. So they will blame that they were our forefathers and they led us astray and they led us to this mis misguidance. Father Luna, they are who led us astray. Fatihim azaban zaifam in anar. So give them double punishment from fire. Qala le kullin zaifun. Allah would reply, for all of you are double. For all of you, you, all of you will get, get the double punishment. But you don't know. Because had your preceding generation led you astray, you had also led astray the next generation which you left behind you. So actually this is a circle going on, vicious circle. So for all of you, the punishment will be doubled. وَقَالَتْ أُولَاهُمْ لِأُخْرَاهُمْ On this, the previous one would say to the next generation, فَمَا كَانَ لَكُمْ عَلَيْنَا مِنْ فَضْلِ You don't have any preference over us. فَذُوقُ الْعَذَابَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَقْسِبُونَ Now you must also taste this punishment and chastisement because of what you had been earning. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَسَبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا Verily those who belie our revelations, who reject the refute our revelations, وَاسْتَقْبَرُوا عَنْهَا and turn away from them due to arrogance and haughtiness. لَا تُفَتَّحُ لَهُمْ أَبْوَابُ السَّمَاءِ Gates of the heaven will not be open for them. وَلَا يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ And they will not be able to enter Jannah. حَتَّى يَلِجَ الْجَمَلُ فِي سَمِّ الْخَيَاتِ Until the camel passes through the eye of the needle. وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُحْسَنِينَ And in this way, we give the reward or the recompense to those people who are guilty. Now there is a hadith according to Hazrat Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said 
that the soul of a sinful person will not be allowed to ascend to heaven, but the soul of righteous person will be welcome. It seems from some of the traditions that the Jahannam will be on this very earth. So you know they will be punished here. They will not be able to ascend to the higher places because their souls are impure. The gates of the heaven will not be opened. And also of the believers whose good deeds were less than the bad deeds, they will also remain here till such time that their souls are purified in the fire of hell. And then they will also enter, you know, and they will ascend high up. So this, you know, this proverb, Hatta yalajal jamalu fi sabil khayat. This is actually to attach to something, a condition which is impossible. Because it is impossible that a camel pass, can pass through the eye of a needle. So it is impossible for these unbelievers that they can ever get out of the hell and enter the heaven or the paradise. And this has been used also by Hazrat Masih in another way. He once said it is in the gospel according to St. Matthew that the wealthy people will not be able to enter the kingdom of heaven until the camel passes through the eye of a needle. Wealthy people, he said. Because you know, they are more engrossed in this world. Because they are in comforts and luxuries. They forget Allah. They are liable to forget Allah more than the people, you know, who are not so comfortable in this world. They anyhow call to Allah, pray to Allah. But you know, these people, and because for them it is very difficult to come in the path of Allah and to bear the hardships for iqamatul deen, to make jihad in the way of Allah. For the laborers, hard workers, already they are hard working. It's not very difficult to go to the field of battle also. But those who are accustomed to, you know, all the comforts, it becomes very difficult for them. So he says that the wealthy people will not be able to enter the kingdom of heaven until camel passes through the eye of the needle. The same. Lahum min jahannama mehadun wa min fawqihim gawash. For them, for them there will be bed of hell, bed of fire in the hell. And in the same way the coverings, you know, the blankets will also be of fire. Wa kazalika najri zalameen. And this is how we shall recompense the evildoers. doers. 